Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Computer Doctor Show Mobile Edition. And in this video, I thought I would talk about the it's this uh, scam with QR codes. Now, in case you don't know what a QR code is, I hope that you get a chance to go and Google it to find out what they are. Uh, a, a QR code is basically a black and white square box that to make up a almost like a barcode but in square form basically you hold up your phone to it and your phone is able to interpret the code of that square and gain information from it that code contains information from it in most cases it is a link and it's, it's extremely useful in lots of applications. Sometimes if you go to a restaurant, they may have a QR code on the table that links to their menu. If you are uh, in a store, they may have a QR code so that you can pay the vendor. And, and there's lots of different applications for it. However, what some people are doing is they're finding ways to put QR codes in spots where there is no attendant. There's no representative there to number one, tell you how to use the QR code or to even do anything with the QR code. They're just pasting, they're just making these stickers and they're putting them in convenient spaces in public, hoping that somebody is going to see it think that they're paying somebody else but in actuality some unknown person or scammer is being paid. Uh, one of the most effective places that they have figured out uh, to do this is at parking meters. So you go up, you are about to park your car and you don't you go up to the meter, of course there's a slot for you to put some coins in, but there's also a spot on the meter where it has a QR code with a message that says that you can pay online. Be aware, that sticker may not be an official sticker. It may not go to the official parking people that put up that parking meter. It's probably, it might be going to a scanner, scammer. So, how can you protect yourself? What you can do is you can go to the official website of the uh, parking enforcement or whatever the uh, uh, parking authority is in that town to know ahead of time what it is and then find out what you have to do in order to pay it online or just carry quarters with you. So where the world is going with the parking tickets and QR codes actually just QR codes in general, where the world is going with QR codes and what clever locations they're able to place them and the clever disguise of them making, look, making them look like they are official QR codes. Not only that, but they will possibly even take you to official looking websites where just back to the old fishing uh, website game all over again where they can steal your identity they can steal your name your address your phone number and most importantly your credit card details so don't be too gullible there are legitimate QR codes that are out there but it's unfortunate that we have to have these fake uh, systems that are out there another way that you can protect yourself is even if you're not even if you're not sure what the official website of the parking authority is look at the website that it takes you to look carefully at it if the domain doesn't make sense okay if you're in the city of Tucson or your city of Houston city of San Francisco and the the website that it takes you has nothing to do with that city or that county and it has a misspelled word or, or something on the site, that's probably a phishing website. It's probably a fake. So you need to uh, get, get away from that website 
try to find the official one or just make sure that you travel with quarters. At least they're still around. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, comment to this video. I'll see you next time on the Computer Doctor Show, Mobile Edition.